Hi everybody, Donna from Donna's DreamWorks.blogspot.com and we're ready, set, go for Christmas, episode 6. I have a shaped card today and I'm going to try again to see if we can get this to show on the video and so you can see what I did. So far I've not had very good luck with this. But I made the Jingle Bell card and I welded two of them on the Gypsy. This is from the Christmas cartridge, the one that comes downloaded with the Gypsy. They are sized at 4.75 and so it's kind of a square card when it's done. Then I cut out an additional one here that will be an inside mat and then I cut out the ribbon and the little uh, piece that goes across the middle of the uh, bell and that's also cut out at 4.75. So let's see how we put this together. I used some really shiny paper this week and because Christmas sometimes is good for glitzy. So this is the way the card looks when it comes off the Cricut and you can see the two that are welded together. Now if you don't have a Cricut you can still make these kinds of cards. Uh, when the bell is cut separately, it has a little tab on the top, and I'm going to do it this way because that will glare. It has a tab on the top, and all you would do is to cut two of them, fold the tab down, and glue, then bring it up and glue the other one to it, which would also have a tab, and then when you want to open it, you just bend it back, and the tab bends back and it opens up like so. Okay, so you don't have to have a gypsy and weld these cards. You can usually find some kind of an area on the card that can be folded. It might be on the side, it might be on the top, but it's not impossible to use uh, just your Cricut without the gypsy. So anyway, this is my Christmas bell, and I made a white mat to go on the inside. Now this is a glittered cardstock sort of, but it's quite light. So I wanted to just give it a little extra weight and I might in fact print on the computer my sentiment on here uh, another time. But right now, for this time we're just going to adhere this into the middle of the card. And I'm going to use white glue a lot today and the reason is because a lot of this glitter paper is very hard to glue down and adhere. So the Scotch Quick Dry seems to hold it pretty well. The other thing that you can use if you're putting embellishments and things on is glossy accents. That also holds well on glitter paper. This is a fairly simple card. I've been really busy this week. I have my first craft show of the season coming up Saturday and so there's always last minute things you have to do to get ready and although I had some uh, cards and things already from last year and we'll put our bow, let's put this piece on first what I want to do is to measure with the bow the bow will go right about here and I want this piece to be just behind the bow So I'm thinking right about there. Um, but you know, with, depending on what time of year it is, there's always a few seasonal things that we put together. And I always do a goodie section. And so I was doing my goodie section yesterday, and when we finish with this, I'll share it with you. This glittered cardstock I have had for a while, uh, the green. Um, or teal, I guess you'd call it. This white uh, glittered cardstock, or some of those papers you get, this is paper actually, papers that you get from uh, Walmart in the dollar section, they really get some pretty cute colors and a lot of different glitters. So you can get um, quite a few of these bows, probably four. Um, not quite four. Yeah, you might be able to get four from one 12 by 12 sheet. And um, OK, 
Okay, now I have a little piece of scrap cardstock here somewhere. Uh-huh. Okay. And I'm just going to use some Versamark and stamp my sentiment. And I have this clear tops embossing powder and it's called Hollyberry. Uh, I've had them for a long time. Um, they're from Commotion, I guess is what the name of it is on there. Let me get my scrap paper. And we're going to cut that out so if it has a little extra pieces on there, it's not going to really make a big difference. Now I'm going to get this back in before I turn on the embossing tool. I'm just going to cut it out. And you can always use your paper trimmer if you feel better about your cuts with it. I'm going to give it a little flag bottom here. And we're going to adhere it right up here on the bow. And I'm going to use uh, glue dots for this because of that glitter paper. I think it will be a little more secure. So let's just pick up a couple of glue dots here. Not on your finger, Donna. And there you go. Really simple, shiny and bright, and the happy holidays. So try making some shaped cards for Christmas. They um, really come out cute. There's a lot of cartridges with a lot of shapes that can be used for welding and making Christmas cards. And this card fits in, oh uh, golly, I had one out here. Here it is. This card fits in, it's not an A2 envelope. Let me tell you the dimensions of the envelope. It is four and three quarters by six and a half. So it's the one size up from an A2. I have a lot of them, so I thought I'd make some cards that I could use them for. Okay, so that's the card for this week. Let me show you a couple of the cute things I was making for Saturday. I think we've got a few minutes. We have Frankie, the Hershey bar. And, you know, it was hard to find this color green. I had to go searching. And the last thing I made, I think these are adorable. My husband made me the little stand. These are Ghost Pops. And I think the display is really cute. And if I think you can see them. I used uh, coffee filters uh, and Tootsie Roll Pops with a little bit of... Uh, regular cooking twine, um, butcher's twine, and then put peachy keen face on the top on the coffee filter. I think they come out really cute. 
So that's what we've been doing all week, is getting ready for Saturday. And I'll see you again next week, or maybe later today, with another project. Talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by Donna's DreamWorks.blogspot.com.